Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. Lock is a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. As you can tell by my voice today, this is not my attempt at being the new Godfather and making you an offer you can't refuse. My voice is pretty much gone. So it changed my topic into thinking about something that I often take for granted, the gift of my voice and the ability to speak. So today's topic is going to focus on that. As you endure the sound of my voice today, I want you to really focus on the content. God blesses us with so many different things, things that I know I take for granted and perhaps you do too. So we're going to start a series focusing on the gift of, and then we'll talk about the senses or different things. Today, as you can imagine, we're going to talk about the gift of speech. When I want to say something, I spend very little time thinking about it. I just open my mouth and I speak. What happens when the voice sounds like today? What happens if the voice was gone altogether? Whether it's laryngitis, speaking too much, or another problem. I can't help but think of our friend Zechariah and the scripture. When Zechariah and Elizabeth were found to be with child, Zechariah no longer was able to speak because he mocked God. Zechariah, only after he writes that John the Baptist's name would be John and not Zechariah, is his tongue released and he's able to speak again. Think of what the gift of speech means to you in your life, friends, and in my life. The ability to say what we need to say, to express ourselves to share in joy, to verbalize complaint, to talk about feelings of pain, or perhaps to order food if we're out at the restaurant. Wherever we find ourselves, the gift of speech is just that, a gift, one that we should never take for granted. It's only when I'm surrounded by those who cannot speak that I realize what a privilege it is to be able to speak freely. And yet, when I see those who have physical ailments that don't allow them to speak. I'm so thankful to God for the gift of technology, sign language, and other things that allow them to still communicate in ways in which they can express their needs and also bring great joy to us in relationship with them. So as I've basically lost my voice today, it's a reminder to me of my dependency on God that the ability to speak, the ability to lead this podcast, is in itself a gift, a gift that can be taken away at any moment, and something that I absolutely take for granted each day. So I invite all of us, and I hope all your voice boxes are great, and I love to hear your voice for those who I have the privilege of knowing personally, and those of you who just listen to my voice all the time, know that your voice and the ability to speak is a gift from God in your life too. So let's not take it for granted, and let's always use our speech to praise God and to build one another up. And in times when we are negative, complaining, or thinking about tearing others down, let's refrain from that kind of speech and always look to be an instrument of God's love for others. Lord, we thank you for the gift of speech today. We thank you for the ability to communicate to be open, and of course, most importantly, to praise you. May we recognize this great gift from you and use it always to build the kingdom of God here on earth. And in the times where we're tempted to do otherwise, may we bite our tongues and not fall into those traps that the devil puts out for us. For God's Playbook friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.